Hi, my name's Gary Bosley and I work in the technical team at PGG Wrightson as a technical specialist for agronomy for the North Island. Today as part of our tech tips, I'm going to be talking about species selection in pasture. So the number of questions you want to ask yourself when you're making those decisions. What type of farming system are you? Are you beef, sheep, or a dairy, or even something like a deer? The next thing is soil fertility. So make sure you do a soil test at least six months prior to your regrassing re situation. Then you can make a decision around what you want to do. Can you correct that fertility? Is there time to do that? Or maybe do you change the different species that you're likely to grow in that situation? Grazing management and planning. Are you going to be hard grazed, set stopped? Or are you looking at a rotational grazing situation? And that will change also the species that you're doing. And then finally, when you talk to ryegrasses especially, one of the biggest issues is how long do you want that pasture to perform? Is it a high production, six month annual type grass? Are we looking at uh, Italians? Are they short rotation, long rotation, lasting between three and five years? Or are we looking at a permanent type pasture? And by permanent, I mean five to eight years before those sorts of perennial ryegrasses start to change, or other species as well. Another influence would be the cutting requirements. Do you want to make hay or silage or baleage, that sort of type of thing? In drought prone areas, think about species with a larger root mass. Rygar struggles to perform when we've got hot, dry conditions. So the addition of Coxfoot as a small percentage of the mix can improve its uh, ability to perform through those hot, dry conditions. In areas where we get hot, dry summers, species like tall fescue really come into their own. With a large root mass, they deliver much, much higher feed values than, than ryegrasses in those more challenging growth situations. So they're another one to think about as well. The other addition to the pasture, especially the longer term pastures, will be the addition of clover. This improves the overall intake, dry matter intake, and also the performance of your livestock. So whether it's a sheep system, where you're looking at probably a white clovers with small and medium leaf white clovers, or a dairy situation where you're more, more that medium to large type scenarios. And also red clover, and where that might sit in the system, and what you're trying to achieve from that. The other species to consider would be herbs, such as plantain and chicory. They change the dynamics of grazing in the different type of systems that we have. Plantain with its, uh, with its winter growth goes through mixture with uh, a grass or even a, even a clover in that performance system really lifts the performance of many, many animals. Also chicory with its, with its taproot and the amount of the growth that you get through the summer period. You're mixing that with crops like red clover, especially in the sheep fattening system, really do work very well. And if you have any more questions about selecting the right species for your pasture, then please come along to one of our PGG Wrightson stores and speak to one of our technical field representatives. <music>